Hello guys, uh, I hope you are doing fine at this moment. I'm going to go ahead and write uh, my fourth program that is going to read a string regardless of how long is the string. And I'm going to count the number of the O's, capital O's and lower case O's. All right, so first of all, let's go ahead and start by declaring a large string. Let's go ahead and put like 200 character in it. And since we're going to be reading it using the get char function because we're going to access it one element at a time, let's go ahead and uh, declare the C character here as I usually use it with the get char function. Then we're going to go ahead and uh, declare I for the loop and of course counter for O's, uh, capital O and little O. So this is also has to be initialized to zero. All right. So first of all, let's go ahead and it's going to be a short program. Print enter your string. Okay. And uh, we could tell them up to 200 character or 199 character. And we're going to start with the loop. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do a while loop just to get a different flavor. And I'm going to initialize I to zero. I'm going to say here while, while, C get a char. See, you used to while loop uh, for loops. No big deal. It is not equal to that. Mm, here we go. And open brace. And of course, immediately put the I plus plus. So to avoid a infinite loop. So now what we're going to do, uh, we're going to go ahead and say string uh, with the I is going to be uh, put in C. C is going to be put, uh, inserted into the string. Here we go. Ring. Okay. And you could actually leave this. I'm going to go ahead and leave it and without even testing it here, just to give a more different flavor to the program. And I'm going to go ahead and say string and with the I and close it with the null character. Okay. So we did the reading in one loop and we're going to expand our understanding. Now let's let's count the O's, okay, and O in the string. We know we entered in the string, we entered, the last thing we entered in the string is the null character. So I'm going to go ahead and reinitialize I to zero. And I'm going to say here while, okay, I'm going to do our loop, while string with the I, which is at this moment is zero, is not equal to the null character because that's the end character, the last characters in the string that I inserted in this line here. That will test how far I need to go. Then we're going to say here if string I, I'm testing each individual character, equal the capital O or those two vertical lines. We call them the pipe sign. String with I is equal to the little o. Okay, the little o. Let me go ahead and do this. The little o. Okay. Then, if that is the case, we'll go ahead and say C T O O plus plus to add one. And of course, don't ever forget to have the I plus plus to avoid the infinite loop when we use the while loop. That's it. Here, we're going to say here, print F, print F, string, regardless of how big it is, okay? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and print the string. In the second line, I'm gonna say here, print F has, okay, percentage D, uh, O or O's. Let's go ahead and put a little S here because we have multiple of those. Okay. And we will go ahead and print that C T O O because that's the one that was incremented. And let me go ahead and get that 
last two lines in the program so you don't forget about them. They're here and learn run the program and see if it's gonna work. So we'll take a shot at it. There we are, two loops. The first is to read, to read and include, in, I mean, conclude that reading with the null character. And the second is to start by testing the while loop any character in the in the array as long as it is not equal to the null character test it if it's equal to the capital o or the little o if that is the case increment that counter by one otherwise that ctoo is not going to be looked at if the character the other 25 different characters in the english language let's go ahead and run it and see if we have any mistake first of all we do Okay, so we're going to say here, uh, in the main function, we have expected some parentheses here. All right, let's go ahead and see where is the parentheses. Okay, enter, we have here, that's basically a big mistake. Did it include, include uh, ended up with a semicolon? That could have fixed the problem, but still it's not fixed. Of course, with the speed, my speed, here we go. We're going to go ahead and do those just to show you that they're all subject to make error, no big deal. See here, there are there's two errors that fix everything once we corrected them. Let's say here, I love, okay, reading very much okay especially i'll say here where let's let's go ahead and say much put some o's a little o's here and little o's here just in case and we all right we have zero o's and o's that's the mistake we have to really find out the fact that i did not put has percent is CO22, one second here, so we need to fix this, okay? All right, so this is the strings I equal, this is basically a big mistake here in the condition shouldn't be equal to the null character and that's why we couldn't do it here we go love oh, oh. and you notice that little tiny mistake when i said it should not be equal i forgot that exclamation mark to the null character okay so should be not equal to the null character because the null character is the last one as long as that string is not equal to the null character then we should be able to do this because that is the last character that we inserted in the previous loop and notice now if by doing this line of mistakes of course we got the right result that we want run it again you know i love those and here we go. All right, we have 10 of those. Well, thank you for watching. And hopefully you'll be able to learn something from this. At least you learned that having a mistake is not the end of the world. You're always going to make one of those. And that's how you learn, basically. Thank you.